Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. Now I know I actually missed the one on Friday. I'm really sorry about that, guys. But the one on Thursday, you guys all spotted a technical error. And at the end, apparently, even though I did edit in an animation to give you guys more of the screen so you guys could see everything better, um, it was never actually in the actual final product and I didn't notice that until after I uploaded it. Uh, actually I didn't notice that until you guys pointed it out for me so I'm super sorry about that I looked into the problem I figured out what it was and it shouldn't happen again alright it was probably my fault uh, although I didn't know it it was probably my fault I take full responsibility I apologize however for today I shouldn't have any of those errors. Alright, so we're going to go up to explore, go to starter pack, light, and insert into this light. Actually, hold on, no. I'm going to press F6 first. The reason I'm going to press F6 is because I'm going to show you guys what the actual fri final product was last episode that you guys never got to see. Alright, so here we go. Here's a guest. Doesn't really matter. Um, what I look like for this. Alright, so in the light, yeah, it kind of glows yellowish. Um, but it does not have a light. There's no light coming from this brick right now. It's just absorbing and reflecting light like any normal brick would do in real life. That's all this brick is doing, okay? So that is how this brick works. Got it? That's all we got so far. I apologize you guys did not get to see that last time, but hopefully I can make up for it with today's episode now. Alright, so in the light, we're going to insert a um, local script, alright? Uh, I'm not going to show you guys the basic objects. Alright, so we're in the local script now, and first thing is going to be tool, which equals script.parent, alright? and player which equals game that players that local player I'm pretty sure I had an episode way back about what local scripts are and what their advantages are one of them is the game that players that local player and just remember local scripts run on the machine of the player who gets the local script itself they are not run by Roblox's servers they run on your machine that's how they work, okay? Alright. Sorry. I, I forget. Um, next up is the actual event that checks when the tool is actually pulled out to the player's hand. This event is called equipped. So tool, not with a 9 in there, that equipped, con oh, yeah, connect, no, I did that wrong, alright colon connect function m o u s e spells mouse because what it gives back to us is of the object mouse all right there's an object if you guys want you can go up to help object browser it pulls up a great window with every object there is in roblox and on the right when you click on them it has a ton of information about their different properties, different events, different functions, all kinds of awesome stuff. I highly suggest you use it. I use it all the time. The mouse is just the actual mouse. When it clicks, we get something. Stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the mouse in this variable here, which is going to equal nil right now. And we're going to change this actually to be MSE. Alright, you can get the mouse and just set it up there. So mouse equals, er, yeah, mouse equals MSE. That way we're setting our mouse variable to the MSE, which is the brand new mouse we're giving, uh, being given. We're also going to get on, which is going to be a boolean, and it's going to equal false. Alright? Actually, we don't need on. And eh, yeah, we do. Alright. Then tool, actually we don't, there's also the tool.unequipped connect 
function, this one does not feed any parameters, but we actually don't really need that today. It's very useful if you plan on having, like, a, a new cursor, uh, like a scope or a site or something for your cursor, uh, but we don't need that. So mouse equals MSE. Good. Done. Now, in this equip function, we're also going to do mouse dot button one down connect function. All right, and this button one down is whenever you press the left click button on your mouse or the right click or however you have your mouse configured. But for most people, it's the left click but or left mouse button when you click that it's or at least push it down not click it all the way which means push it and release really quick um, when you push it down this event will be fired next up we just put in here if on then script dot parent dot handle dot spotlight right let's go check that that come on open up handle it's not darn arrow there we go oh okay it's a point light sorry point light that enabled equals false on equals false else script that parent that handle oh actually yeah that handle yeah that point light that enabled equals true on equals true end now there's actually one more thing I want to do because I just thought what if they just keep pulling the mouse out and out and out and then they click and this connection has been added like 12 times or 13 times it's going to cancel itself out because it's an odd number so what we actually should do is make this C or make another variable up here also equal to nil which will be con and we'll set it to nil like I said and then make con equal to this connection I'm pretty sure we can do it this way if not I know another way I think of I, I don't normally put connections into variables but you can put connections into variables and I'm pretty sure this is how you can do it alright and then tool dot unequipped connect function MSE actually MSE doesn't exist sorry we do not get any parameters from this and then all we're going to do is con or er, con dot dis or er, maybe it's mouse dot disconnect hmm. disconnect con if not uh, I'll figure it out how to do this uh, I like I said, I don't do this on a regular basis, this disconnection thing. Uh, but hopefully I'll figure it out uh, quick enough. Alright, walk around, pull out our light. We do not have an error yet, so I'll click. There we go. You guys can see. You click on, click off, click on, click off, click on, click off, click on, click off. And now for the part where I actually care. Alright, yeah. Yeah, we got an error for disconnect is not a valid member of mouse so give me just a second to go research how to do this properly yeah even I gotta learn and then I will teach you guys it alright so give me a sec alright turns out I had the right idea to begin with all we do is con disconnect all connections should have the disconnect function in them and it just disconnects them and gets rid of them so we don't have errors of a ton of different uh, connections on the same event uh, that all do the same thing don't get me wrong it's okay to have a ton of connections to the same event as long as they don't cancel each other out alright so now we've got our light right boom nothing no light from it click on Click off, click on, 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 click off. And you can tell it's definitely our light because it follows us everywhere. Boom. Alright. 
Now we disable it, pull it on, and it's not glitching. We don't get any errors. It is working perfectly. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.